See, now usually what people will tell you is that you boil water, as I did earlier, and then you put this into a bowl, and then you, um, you, you eat it. It's instant. It's instant oatmeal. It says it right on the, the bag, dude. See it? It's backwards, but... But what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be um, eating it a la carte. Mmm, pretty good. Once you let it sit in your mouth for a little bit, it just sort of turns into like a porridge. Mmm. Once the peach really soaks up that saliva, it turns. It's like I'm eating a little bit of a peach. You know, it's nice and pleasant. The oats, a little bit dry. That can be solved with a little bit of water, though. You know, it makes me think of the cinnamon challenge, except, um, it's not. <clears throat> Cheers. It's good. It's good water. So let's have some more. Mm. You know, sometimes people, you're, sometimes you're not going to have time in the morning to be able to boil the water, pour this into a bowl, etc. Normally, people who are in a big rush will, will do this. Mm. You know, you, you really do get used to the, the texture and the taste. It's kind of like eating dry cereal. Except, not. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of powder in this. Oat. But, um, yeah. Mmm. Sorry, I made a little bit of mess here. Mmm. That was a good one. That was a good, that was a good mouthful. And um, I think I'm going to wash it down with a little bit of uh, water. Anyways. Um, mm. I would definitely recommend this. If you're, ever, uh, if you're ever hungry in the morning, you're in a rush, you have five minutes until, until you're late for work. Just do, just do what I'm doing right here. Even, even if you're not late for work, school, whatever, late for that wedding, wait for your, wait, well, yeah. you, you should do it because it's, it's different. That, that's for sure. You're gonna take a little bit to get used to it. Um, yeah, I'm sure it would go great with some coffee. In fact, I have some leftover coffee from this morning right here. Uh, why don't I uh, just go ahead and um, fuck that water? And if I don't just go ahead and pour the rest of this in there. It's not that old. I think it's pretty old. I'm just kind of putting our handy dandy microwave right here. You know, I think per personally, I think uh, maybe 30 seconds would be good. We'll find out in 30 seconds, guys. I'm gonna finish the rest of that off with some coffee once that gets ready. Hey, some watermelon. It's a two-in-one review. All right. Let's, oh, there's our coffee. I'm gonna see if it's nice and hot. It's not. But uh, yeah, here, let's go ahead and start some of the, this watermelon. It's not a good melon. Not, not one bit. Our coffee should be ready now. It may not be. Hold on. Let's put some sugar in there. And stir it up. Sweet. All right. Now we're gonna put some creamer in there. Too much. 
just right. Now we got ourselves a nice hot cup of joe from uh, a while ago. Now, sometimes um, you will see people uh, actually just pour their oatmeal into their coffee cup. Now, that is entirely normal. I do it all the time. We're just going to let that sit for a moment. And um, now, while that, while that oatmeal mix will help with the bitter taste of the, <clears throat> the coffee, sometimes you will want to add a little bit of melon to it to actually help with the sweetness and uh, the pH level of the, of the coffee. That's nice. See, think of it as like a little ice cube, right? You, you're, you're getting a little nice... Um, in a nice uh, iced coffee. So now we're gonna now I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip. Now the consistency to some people may be slightly disturbing. It it, it does it does look like vomit. I will admit that. It may not look very appetizing, but I assure you it is delicious. It's good like it's like a breakfast cup. You know, like a break ah. Like a breakfast bowl, but breakfast cup. It's in a cup. Uh, it's got coffee, uh, instant oatmeal, <laughs> and water milk. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Why? Why am I doing this? Mmm. See, because of the density of um, the coffee, the, uh, the fruit, the peach, in this case, of the oatmeal, likes to float to the top. Now, if you'll, um, if you see that, see that right in there? All that stuff floating on top, there's watermelon, and then there's the, um, the peach. Mmm. The fuck was that? Was that fruit? I don't know what I just ate. Um, something larger than the fruit in here. And it wasn't the melon. That's for sure. Melon's still in there. I don't know what it was. But um, it was good. Mmm. And when, um, once you finish, see all that oatmeal at the bottom? It's like a little treat. Like a little dessert. This is the main course. And then this is the... Um, the dessert, you know. Um, so that's that's basically it. Um, if you have if any recommendations for any foods you want me to um, uh, test out, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I will see what I can do. Uh, this has been the <clears throat> this has been the instant oatmeal watermelon coffee breakfast cup. Uh, you know, I give it a solid, um, out of 10, I give it a, um, 6. The taste is a little odd, and, um, the texture certainly doesn't help with anything. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's a good, it's a good mobile source of your, your daily, uh, your daily nutrients in the morning. Um, you know, breakfast is more important meal of the day. I'd rather have that than, uh, nothing at all. I'm sure you would, too. And this has been a 35 coleslaw.